Carlos Alcaraz versus Andre Rublev is the second match for these guys in the group stage of the ATP Finals. And both guys are coming off tough losses in the first matches. Andre Rublev comes to the ATP Finals as the number five in the world after having one of his best seasons yet. His best result at the Finals was actually last year, making to the semifinals, and has a very strong chance of replicating that at this year's event. His win-loss record this year, 56 wins, 23 losses, having won two titles out of his six finals, with his biggest title coming in Monte Carlo, winning his first 1,000 event there. His best win was against Casper Rude in Bastard on the clay courts, but his worst loss came at the very start of the year, losing to Kokonakis in Adelaide. So it wasn't a great start to Rublev's season, but he did get better as it went on. His form lately has been good too, having only lost three matches in his last 10 matches, and losing to Djokovic in Paris, and also making the Shanghai final a couple of weeks ago. Carlos Alcaraz comes into the ATP finals as the number two in the world, and will actually make his debut at the finals, even though last year he did qualify, of course, having to pull out though with injury. So first time we'll see him here. His record this year, 63 wins, 10 losses and his titles and finals six titles from the eight finals the only two losses he's had in finals was to Djokovic in Cincinnati and actually to Nori at the start of the year in Rio de Janeiro his best win Djokovic at Wimbledon of course one of the biggest achievements of his career and his worst loss came in Rome against the qualifier from Hungary Marajan and it was just after Madrid where Alcaraz had actually won the title so it was a big shock his form however hasn't been good coming into this finals with a couple of losses after a long injury delay and not playing a lot of tournaments after the US Open. These guys have actually never played before, so it's going to be the first time we get to see them up against each other, and they've got very aggressive style, so it's going to be really fun. A lot of shot making involved in this one, and you might lean towards Rublev being on indoor court, but Elka's still learning pretty quick. If Rublev's going to win this one, he needs to be aggressive, and he needs to limit the errors. He hit so many errors against Medvedev in that first match, so he's going to have to limit those errors, and also serve well, because that's been a big weapon of his this year. If Elka's going to win this one, he also needs to limit the errors, but also bring that variety. He kind of lacked the variety a little bit against Zverev. He kind of just got into a bit of a hitting match with Zverev. And luckily for him, Rublev's serve is not as big as Zverev's. It is still aggressive, but it's not as big as Zverev, so he might be able to get some more back and get into these rallies. Such an interesting matchup. A must-win match for one of these guys. If they lose, they're pretty much out of the tournament. I'm going to go with Rublev to win, though. I think his aggressive style is just going to frustrate Alcaraz a little bit. And I also think Rublev wanted to redeem himself after a poor performance in the first match. But let me know down in the comments below who's going to win this one.